Hi, Brandon. I am Amanda Nassau, and this is phase three of you um, searching for a new virtual assistant. So I'm here amongst my bicycles, and this isn't going to be fancy because it is my husband's birthday, and I didn't want to have him um, doing this for me. So here we go. I'm going to answer all your questions. Um, first off, a little about myself is that I'm going to read this because I am not an actress. <laughs> um, I love living life to the fullest, which changes, you know, by definition with time and as my experiences change, but um, I dream big and I follow through on my dreams and goals, whatever those may be. And then as a family, which also defines me currently, um, we enjoy road trips, riding our Dutch bike around Southern California, getting stares from people. It's so fun. Um, and anything active, we're always up for. Also, I turned 35 this month, and I will be world schooling my two young children who are just have just turned two and four years old. So we still have a little time, but we're just enjoying the day-to-day -day right now and all the fun experiences that we come across. Um, what appeals most to me about the qualities that you're looking for, um, the qualities you're looking for in a, your assistant describe, describe me to a T. Um, I've been a manager in the fitness industry most of my career until having my now two-year-old daughter, and I really miss um, being able to use my skills and being challenged. Yet I will not be returning to work um, at a nine to five type of job, so I have no desire for that anymore. Um, so this opportunity will allow me to use my skills, the things I'm most competent at and enjoy doing, um, but in a way that I think would really work for me and for my family. So that's very exciting for me. Um, what appeals the least, honestly, is that I tend to go into things 100% and I would just want to make sure that I keep a good balance of the workload initially and um, um, we are working hard right now towards shifting our lives to being more world schooling friendly and I think this is a perfect opportunity for um, helping us with that and, um, and I can step away from other work that I'm currently doing as this picks up so um, but what appeals least is that I don't want to overdo it um, so what I am best at we're on item D would definitely be problem solving critical thinking and using good old common sense while still dreaming big though um, being creative, seeing visions through to fruition, and also inspiring others, especially since becoming a mom. I tend to be kind of that go-to mom amongst the community or my community, um, you know, regarding pregnancy, labor, birth, postnatal, parenting, yada, yada. Um, and even with my over a dozen years as a fitness trainer and manager, um, I get to use my... Um, creativity in those areas. So the skills that I'm most, interesting, most interested in developing further in working with you are probably navigating um, blogging better. I know, I know how to write well, but you know, just the, the behind the scenes of a blog site and um, behind the scenes too of social media and not just putting my own personal little posts, but you know, timing them and, and having things flow real well. Um, so if I had, on item F, if I had billions of dollars and ultimate time freedom, then in the next 10 years I would just have a lot of travel under my belt. And really my life, I think, would look very similar as it does, as it is now with the day-to-day. -day. Um, I would just be out exploring even more, on the road more. Uh, the furthest place I have traveled from home in California is to probably South Africa. And being there, I can't even begin to tell you what I learned because it's just huge. Um, but I think what I learned a lot just in deciding to even go, I was getting married um, about a month after going to South Africa and we were going to do this huge international honeymoon. 
And at the time, I think I had one month of paid leave from uh, my job, which is big here actually in America to have one full month. But um, I ended up taking like seven weeks of vacation that year from that job um, with that Africa trip. And, and it was all covered. It all worked out. It was beautiful. But the, de the decision to even go do that um, gave me the confidence to know um, that I'm the creator of my life and the director of my life, um, that I can take on anything I choose and... Um, I just have to believe in myself. And so just the deciding um, to even go was a big thing for me. And then um, H, what makes me the perfect candidate, Brandon, for your position um, is that, again, I, I really feel that I possess all the primary qualities that you say you're needing from your assistant. And really, they're qualities that come very naturally to me. The communication, the being in touch, the responding in a timely matter with, yep, got it. All that is just what I do anyway. Um, and so it would be really, I, I would thrive um, with exciting new situations. Um, and I am excited by the work you're doing. So I think it's just a really good combination of skills that you need and um, what you do that I'd be helping you with. So, um, is there anything I'd like you to know? Um, really just that whatever I do, I do it well. And I take pride in anything that I put out. This video, <laughs> pardon this video, but um, again, it's my husband's birthday and I'm going to go be with the family now. But I take great pride in anything that I have my hand in and so that would include the work that I am helping you with. So. Um, thank you for this opportunity and getting me to round three. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, Brandon.